So I made a game called My Beautiful Paper Smile and this, this small up and coming channel, you, you might not have heard of it called uh, Markiplier made a video about it. Today I'm gonna tell you about how this even happened and explain some of the unexpected effects that it's had on me and my game. And also right below me, there's a big red button and you should press it, uh, do that. So anyways, let me set the stage. So a few years back, I started working on my game, My Beautiful Paper Smile, right? Was working on it for quite some time and back last June, we were getting ready to release it in early access on Steam. But we wanted to do a demo for the game and we were going to submit it to the Steam Summer Games Festival. Then Steam will feature it on like the front page and you can get a bunch of visibility and it just helps with marketing your game. I also decided, you know what? I'll put this demo on Itch.io and Game Jolt as well. And I figured, you know, it could be a good little boost of marketing. And if you've watched Markiplier before, then you may know that for his Three Scary Games videos and a lot of other videos that he makes even about horror games, he goes to Itch.io to find a lot of these games. And so this wasn't even on my mind when I put this demo on Itch.io. I was just hoping, you know, hey, maybe it gets featured, maybe it gets some extra exposure for my game. You know, there's, there's not really anything that could go wrong here. So I put up the demo and I, it sat there for a few days. It ended up getting featured. It got to like the number two spot with the most popular game at the time being Siren Head. So unfortunately I didn't dethrone Siren Head, but whatever. You know, it's not like I'm <coughs> mad or anything. What started happening was very, very interesting. See, a bunch of small YouTubers started picking up the game and playing it on their channel. You know, no, nothing crazy, but it started getting some interest. But if, I mean, I'm assuming you read the title of the video, there was something bigger to come. So a couple weeks or maybe, maybe about a month after I published this demo on Itch.io, I, I woke up, right? I got onto my computer and I'm just scrolling through notifications, emails, Twitter, all that kind of stuff, right? And so I saw that somebody commented on the game's demo page on Game Jolt. And so I went to read the comment and it just said, congratulations with a link to a video. And this was very mysterious. I was, I was confused. I was like, what is this? So I click on the link to watch the video, right? And it appears to be a Markiplier video, which confused me. So I start watching the video and I see my game in this video. And so I'm like, wait, no, this can't actually be Markiplier, right? This, this has to be just some like, like a mimic account or something, right? And so I go to, I follow the link to YouTube and turns out, it is a real Markiplier video and I watched through and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm skipping up through the video trying to make like, is this actually my game? Was it just featured for like a, a minute or something? Like, did he actually play my game? And as it turns out, he did. <laughs> and so as soon as I realized that Markiplier actually did play my game, I transitioned from this, you know, five solid minutes of complete disbelief to a phase of just like pure excitement. And honestly, this this is kind of just the beginning. So obviously, right, I'm excited. I've been watching Markiplier for a long time, watched tons of his videos. I'm a fan of what he does. And just the fact that he's a big YouTuber, like it's kind of a game developer's dream to have a big YouTuber with that much influence play a game that you created because it's, it's, it's a great marketing opportunity. And so this is kind of where I want to get into the results of this video, not just marketing wise, but like, other stuff too. So there were definitely some things that were uh, very unexpected, but I'll, I'll start with kind of the, the main one and that was just visibility. So the video currently has like 4 million views, which is mind blowing for me. It's resulted in, you know, a, a fair few new fans of the game. It's hard to estimate how many, but I know it's had at least some effect. I feel like it's also given my game a little bit more credibility to other YouTubers because since then a bunch of other big YouTubers have also picked it up. Maybe at some point I'll talk about those stories as well. But probably the most unexpected thing is just how many people actually recognize my game now. Like I could post a screenshot on Twitter or Reddit and it's not uncommon for people to be like, oh, hey, I, I saw Markiplier play this game. Pretty cool. And it even still happens now. It's kind of crazy how far Four million views actually goes having that little that little badge of honor that uh, that Markiplier played my game and that people actually recognize it is is pretty cool and it's honestly something that I wasn't expecting. So getting your game played by Markiplier, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's still kind of crazy to think about and it feels a little bit surreal even just knowing that somebody who I always grew up thinking of as like a celebrity interacted with and actually kind of enjoyed something that I created. At least I think he enjoyed it. I I actually don't know that. Deep down, he's probably just like, oh, this game sucks. Ah. That's what Markiplier talks, right? If you enjoyed, be sure to smack a red button and check out my game on Steam, My Beautiful Paper Smile. It's, it's fantastic. So that is it, and I will see you guys in the next one.